The Hin Harrier project wild bird cover seed mix is made up of seven seeds. The crop itself is nine meters wide by 100 meters long. Choose a cultivation system that's available to you. For most farmers, this will be hiring a contractor with a one pass, which would be three meter one pass. So you have to go three widths of the power harrow wide and to establish the crop. One or two runs of the power harrows will be sufficient. One run is normally sufficient, but if you don't get a fine, firm seed bed, a second one of the power harrow may be required to get the crop established. Only cultivate when the soil is dry enough, so if the soil is sticky, it's probably not dry enough, so when the soil is dry in your hand, so wait till ground conditions are, are right to establish the crop. And the contractor should take 15 to 20 minutes to establish this. And once he's that done, the contractor can go from the side. All the rest can be done by hand. Put on a pair of gloves, as some of this seed is treated with a fungicide. Put half the triticale in one bucket and half in another bucket with the vetch and buckwheat. Place all the linseed, the mustard, the radish, the fascia in the third bucket. One bucket will do a full lint of 100 metres, 3 metres wide, which will be marked out where the power harrow travelled. So each bucket should do 100 metres by 3 metres. Spread the triticale first with the buckwheat on the outside and spread the linseed down the middle strip. After You've spread all the seed, measure out 12 and a half kilos of 10, 10, 20 in two buckets and spread this over the full plot of 100 meters by nine meters wide. You've the fertilizer spread, get a bag of granulated lime and spread the bag of granulated lime over the full 100 meter strip by nine meters wide by hand. And that is finished. Roll the plot twice with a tractor to get a fine firm soil the seed contact and to get good establishment. Make sure the soil is firm. If it's not firm, roll it again. And when that, when you're happy with the seed bed, fence off the field from livestock to make sure they won't damage this crop once it's established. No fungicides, herbicides, or pesticides are required once the crop is established. June onwards, you'll see the linseed will be in full flower. So will the mustard and the radish and the veg. The the buckwheat and the triticale are, look like wheat, so they will form seed heads. So this, the strip will provide food from birds from June all the way through till Christmas or well after Christmas. And it will improve the bird population when in turn and hopefully improve the inherent population.